you know Bitch bow down, look who turned to a clown now I came back like a Marianne, you fell off like bow wow You ain't got no class, can't sit with us, can't come to my school Ain't got time for these dumb little fools, washed up like that uncle a fool Sour so they sent for us So guys, I'm just gonna do something a little bit A little bit different I'm gonna do a reaction video to um okay first of all let me just say hey everybody it's Lani good if you've never heard of me then I don't know where you've been <laughs> um I just want to say that if you're a returning subscriber then you know what if you heavy if this is your first time seeing my face then where you been we lit over here bitch but anyway Today, today, today we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be reacting to an influence in the UK. Some of you may know her, some of you may not. We're gonna be reacting to her breakup video and just giving our thoughts about how we think it went. Some people might think it's odd that I'm, you know, reacting to fellow influencers, but at the end of the day, you know, influencers have had a lot to say about the way I've acted online, <laughs> calling me, you know, embarrassing and things of that nature, you know, influencers have said that I, all I do is cry online, all I do is cry online. So I just thought like, it's only fair that I could critique their um, content. Do you understand? If you're gonna critique mine, it's only fair so however i'm gonna say this i don't believe in necessarily kick, kicking and i don't necessarily believe in kick oh i can't even speak i don't necessarily believe in kicking a dog while the dog is down um but what i do believe in is teaching valuable lessons and i feel like um giving my opinion on their um personal matter their personal scandal um with some sort of empathy may show you know other influencers influencers that have come for me that sometimes in life you know you need to be empathetic towards others because it's not every day that you have to be mean spirited sometimes show love so i do want to say that you know i'm gonna call this influencer ruth I'm gonna change her name. It's up to you to figure out who I'm talking about. At the end of the day, let's be honest, like, you know, I've been drugged through the mud. I've had my own scandal. But this video is definitely, has a scandal surrounding it. And um, all I have to say about that is this. <laughs> we just, I just hope that, um, I don't wish bad on anyone like that, but I just hope that whatever the situation is, I just hope that every single party involved gets the best resolution for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also that people come out of it better people. Because that's what life's about. Life is about learning from your mistakes and coming out a better person. Yeah, so let's react. Ooh, the views are really, really high. Really, 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 really hot. The tea is hot. The tea is hot. Let's, let's start. I'm not going to play the whole video. Um, but uh, what I am going to do. So first I'm going to start say by saying the comments are off. The comments are off. Since you ain't allowed to comment on this video. Okay. You ain't allowed to comment on this video. The comments are off. Which means it must be somewhat controversial or it must be quite triggering. Another thing is, I went on Ruth's Instagram and I noticed that Ruth had deleted, um, had removed all the comments on her Instagram, which means she was getting, oh, sorry, I can't even. 
she was getting smoke on her Instagram. I'm just shocked because she seems like the type of person that's like very, very, I can handle whatever. I can handle whatever. Any anyone anyone come for me, I can handle whatever. What you say? Like she seems like the type of person that she can she can handle it. Like no one's ever gonna make her back down. She can handle it. All the smoke, she's ready. So it's quite surprising that she turned off her comments. Like I I, I find that quite shocking. However, I did notice that she has done that once before, so it's not completely out of character. Um, I have never turned off my comments. Do, do you know that? That's why I'm smart. I've never done it. Even when I was getting the heat and the wahala! All the wahala, all the smoke. I never, ever turned, down my, um, turned off my comments. I'm always ready for the smoke. And you know what? I don't even go through all of them, so who knows what people are saying in the comment section. But yeah, so the title of this video is We not together no more we not together no more and this is obviously she i'm just gonna say she looks extremely sad in the video so we're gonna start with that the appearance of the person is sadness the appearance of the person is somber sadness we're here she's i think she's pouring out her heart to us she's letting her letting us in her personal space so let's watch with a cup of tea Let's watch. I would like to first of all by saying a huge apology to somebody that means the world to me and he goes by the name Blacks. You know one thing about me, I'm not the best thinker. Okay, so we're gonna start right there. We're gonna start right there. Oh, uh, pause, pause, pause. We're gonna start right there. So she says that she wants to start off by apologizing to a partner that she's been dating. Now that Ruth's been dating, I just want to say, um, I genuinely believe that she wants to apologize to him. Um, you know, I think Ruth is really in love, and. Um, and, and so, as someone who's been in love before, I can recognize when a woman is very deeply in love. You know, love is a beautiful thing. Love is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And I think Ruth is, is going through a lot because... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, I've watched the video. I'm just, like, trying to make sure I rewatch it with you guys so I don't miss anything. But when you are in a when you have someone you love in your life and you feel like you have contributed to um part of the reason why they don't you you've contributed to the part of the reason why your why, why your relationship isn't sacred and why your relationship is suffering you know that guilt you know it, it's it's hard because all girl, most girls all we want to do is be loved isn't it so when that love hasn't worked out and we feel like it's our it's our own or where we feel we've hurt somebody that we really really care for um yeah no obviously that's a, that's a deep pain and i feel like she probably thinks her only priority like her only priority is him um and i know a lot of people i've seen a lot of comments a lot, a lot of people disagree with that because a lot of people think that she should be talking about the scandal and the situation that's happening which i have to say is really really serious but at the same time if it's gone legally maybe she can't talk about it Maybe she can't talk about it. But let's continue. I never really had somebody to really guide me and mm. to really like direct me to the right um, direction. I've seen it. I've seen it. I agree. I've seen it. I, I, I don't know if you know, I've noticed. I've noticed. She has been behaving more than usual. She has definitely. I want to say, this is no sh whatever, if you think it's shade, it's calm. Um, I've, I think she's been acting more like a lady. She's been thinking before, she mentioned that she doesn't think before she writes. She's been thinking more. She's been taking her time more. I've noticed that. So he has had a positive impact on her. He has. He has. He's been able to pattern his woman. I have noticed it. So Ruth, well done. And Ruth's boyfriend, well done for that. Well done for that, boy. I just think that she's genuinely really, really in love. And I, just, I don't know, I'm happy she has someone in her life who can point out that maybe the way she behaves isn't the, the, the most... Mm, 
it's, it's not an appealing way for a human being to behave. And I also believe that there has been times where she's been warranted to be upset, but I do feel like sometimes she has taken things too far. I do believe that. That's my opinion. I do th believe that sometimes you're a bit harsh, you're a bit mean, and um, there needs to be a line because it... <sighs> Like babes, like sometimes, like it's it's not that it's, it's not that deep. Like some of the stuff we say, some of our words, they can be really, really, or our actions, they can be really life. What, what is the word li like? They can be, they can be life. What's the word I'm looking for? They, they can have a really big long term impact on someone's life mentally. I just feel like some of the stuff she's done, I'm not going to bring up specifics, but, and it's not just to me. Some of the stuff she said and done to people, I do think it was really harsh. And I do feel like that person probably had traumatic nights and cried themselves to sleep. So I do think that if someone in her life is making her think before she types, I do think that's a positive thing. So, well done, Blacks. I met this man. Mm, mm, mm. And he was just everything I've always wanted, you know. Well, sis, well done for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just want to also start off by saying there's some serious allegation that's been put out there on social media. Yup. Yup. And it's the most serious thing I've ever had to deal with in yep. my entire life. Yup. 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 Uh-huh. Say it loud for people in the back. Is a nice another person that's also attached to this Okay. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> I agree that her allegations are really serious. And like I said, I hope every single party involved um, gets the best resolution for them. Um, I hope the consequences are not too extreme. Do you know what I mean? I hope the consequences are not too, 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 too extreme and life altering. Look at me using fancy words. Um, not too life altering. I'm not. You know, when it was me in the firing line, bam, bam, when it was Lani, bam, bam, who was being an absolute bitch, people tried to come for my livelihood. People tried to come for my for my for my life. People tried to really ruin, um, um, like I just I just feel like it was taken too far. I think it was like really cruel with me. Like I just I feel like the line was crossed when it came to me. Do you understand? Not just by Ruth, but by 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 um another influencer who is a fucking bitch. But anyway. I do feel like um, lines were crossed with me. And then, Ruth, <laughs> I know you're friends with the demon that hurt me. I know you're friends with the demon that hurt me. Um, but you know, rubbing it in on New Year's Eve at his party, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just, I just think it's a bit mean. How would you feel if I was all cuddled up with blacks? You wouldn't like that. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, not in a romantic way, I mean in a bridging way. Like, I know you lot were friends before me, but I just mean like sometimes we don't think about the impact, the mental pain we put people through. Like why do we do that to each other? It's not nice. It's not nice. And it's unnecessary. I just think that women should stick together, to be honest. That's just me. I mean, people might agree, might, people might disagree. It's my, it's my opinion. I think people should stick together. So... I just think it's a shame and that's from the bottom of my heart i think it is a shame that I, l let me just say this and this is coming from my heart yeah as women we know what like how much we desire love and true love from ma a man and we know when we've been there and we've loved a man and we've ridden for a man we know what that that heartbreak feels like how it feels to be truly broken because of love. And I don't think from, I don't expect my fellow woman, my fellow sister to mock me for that, to laugh at my pain. I don't expect that. I just want us to be better because people die for love, people kill for love. Love is an ex extremely strong emotion. And I just didn't think it was funny. Another thing that Ruth did is Ruth, Ruth said that, um, insinuated that my story my trauma was a lie if i came here and said that oh i believe the other girl she's a lie how would she feel how would she feel you see 
I'm not like that though, sis. It's not an eye for an eye here, boo. I'ma give you the benefit of the doubt. And I'ma pray for you. And I'ma pray that the best situation comes out of this. Cause I don't want you depressed. Why would I want a fellow human being depressed? I don't want you depressed. I don't want you to, to, to you know, be so low that you don't want to be here anymore. I heard you say that you don't even want to be who you are no more. And like, with the clout and everything, and I understand that. And, I, and for you to say that, I thought that that was quite deep. Like, because it's not worth it if you're, if, if you're, if you're, not even, it's not worth it if you are jeopardizing the man you love, like the the one person that makes you happy in the world, like you can't be with him because of all the 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 drums. I get that, and that you know that I, I as a woman who's been in love and who's been broken before, I was sitting there like mm, 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 I get that. I felt you on that one. Do you understand? So I don't want you to be depressed, and I don't want you to lose yourself and never be able to like you know come back from this or not cope. I just hope that next time you can be a little bit kinder when it's my turn. But God forbid that it will ever be my turn again. God forbid, but the point I'm trying to make is you see me, and maybe this is the difference. I, I do try and think before I speak because I do think about the words, of what I'm gonna say is gonna have a detrimental effect on someone else. And I hope that you, next time when it's me babes you can do the same and not try and take away my livelihood not try and pay me out to be this evil person because i'm not and you know when you're sitting here talking about heartbreak i'm totally there with you because i've been there yeah i've been there you said like all i do is come online and cry about man and you are doing the same thing but the, the difference is i get it because why because i did it anyway we're gonna continue watching Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, that sounds wild. Um, that sounds wild. But I understand where she's coming from in the sense that she's just trying to say, like, um, she maybe, you, you, you know, like, when she's, when the cameras are on, when she, she shows us that mad girl, that girl with, with, that's boisterous, that girl with attitude, but behind closed doors, she's, especially for the people she loves, she's probably really loving and loyal and all that kind of stuff. So there's two sides of her. But human beings have layers though. Human beings are like onions. We've got so many layers behind us, so it makes sense. A whole different character. That's just a whole different personality compared to Renee. Now, with every drama that I've been in on social media, mm. every mix-up that I've been in on social media, Miss Our Fabulous has been that mix-up. Not Renee. It's interesting that she says that. Every day can be extraordinary. I wonder if I've ever met, since they're two different people, I wonder if I've ever met um, Ruth, the real her. Delicious, I ate total yogurt. Renee's somebody that nobody gets to see apart. Oh, nobody gets to see her. So I wonder if when we were talking privately, you ever showed me that her. I wonder, like, I'm not even just saying this to be shady. I wonder if you ever, ever gave me the sincere you. Because the first time I met you, I, I did feel like you was um, sizing me up. Not, not like that, not like, um, not like you already knew you wasn't feeling me, like sizing me up in the sense that you were trying to figure me out to see if I was a cool, you know, cuddly bear. But I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, babes. I think you know that I'm, an, uh, like I'm, a, I'm a cute, cuddly bear, so. Anyway. So she only shows that person to her true love and her family. So I haven't seen that person, I suppose. Fair enough. Allegations that have been made, that's been made. Okay, we're gonna skip this. She's not gonna talk about the allegations. Wah, wah, wah. Cool, cool, cool. I'm still learning. I'm not perfect. Full learning. Yep. I'm not perfect. Definitely, I, I agree. But I'll get there. Mm -hmm. Because I truly we, believe that Rome wasn't built in a day. We, I pray I you do. Right time. I pray you do. But in this video, I can't stand but to watch somebody that I love so much. That means so much to me, regardless if we're not in a friend and relationship anymore, he will always be somebody that I, I keep close to my heart because he was someone that meant the world to me. I, don't, I didn't protect him enough. I would just allow anyone to be around me in my space knowing that there's an evil world out there. Now, when I made Homerton fuck, 
I didn't realise the backlash I'll get from certain people's names that I mentioned in the music. Now, put myself in certain certain situations and I've allowed certain people to not come for me, but to also put their energy towards my boyfriend at the time. So heartbreaking to see somebody get so much hate. I'm gonna pause it there because this is another interesting point of the video. Do you know what, yeah? If I have to put myself in her shoes for five seconds, let's put our, her, ourselves in her shoes. Imagine you are in love, genuinely, you are madly in love with somebody. They, you feel like this person might be your soulmate, your husband, the man you're gonna marry. And then, okay, so when you're in love, you have to realize that you see that person as a king because they're a king to you. It doesn't matter if anyone else thinks they're an idiot, you think they're a king. And, um, you what you uh, because you love them you want them to feel like they're a king too you do understand you want to make them feel special because they're special to you so when you see other people disrespecting them it, it it probably makes you feel such a type of way especially if they're being disrespected because of something you do i'll give you an example that isn't related to this but okay imagine someone's dating you obviously you, the love of your life dating you and then they're in their feelings because maybe they heard or one of their boys or someone uh, along the way is mocking them because i don't know someone says how could you wife her she's a jersey or she a hoe like do you understand it's like they, they see they are in pain because their rep has been they, they're taking hits to their rep because they want they love you or because they're with you so obviously he's being disrespected by next man saying like like what's up in it like a man's gonna do this to you because he obviously um, V9 can't, you know, do, do nothing to, 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 to Ruth, but he can do something to her man. So, like, I, like, I get it. I get it. Oh, I would have been so upset! I would have been so upset! I would have been so upset! I would have been so upset if it was me, you know? Ah, uh, But let me tell you the difference. I think, because me, when I'm in love, I'm crazy, so I would have bugged out on, on him, you know? I would have bugged out on him, you know? I would have been like, what? What? You're gonna do what to my man? I would have been like, come fuck me then. Wow, well, oh, I dare you to touch my mouth. What? I would have been chatting the most, the most crap. The most. What? You're going to do what to my man? I dare you. What and where? Oh, I would have been on it, man. I would have been on it. The length, the shank, the, the bank. What? You're going to touch my man <laughs> in your dreams. So um, I would have definitely bit back. Oh, I would have gone nuts on the internet. But you know, I've already seen me go nuts. I'm always like ready to attack. So I get that. I get that a lot. <sighs> Relationships are complicated, isn't it? Consistently all the time based on what their girlfriend is doing. I'm broken. Can you imagine though, if, 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 if you have had controversy attached to your name and you get into a relationship, your partner might have to deal with, with the backlash you've got. That's just so... long. That is so long. Do you know what, though? It doesn't actually scare me. <laughs> I would still get into a um, public thing. I would, I would, I would, I would. I would love to have, like, a YouTube boyfriend. Are you joking? I'd be like, babes, let's pay, let's play strip. What's what's a strip game? What's a strip? Spell a strip. Spell if you can't spell this word correct, baby, then you're gonna have to take them pants off, baby. Like I would love to have a, a YouTube boyfriend. Are you dumb? I mean, or girlfriend? Who knows? <laughs> so let's listen. I'm hurt. I'm really sad right now. He doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve the... Now, so, you I have to say this. So, obviously, because... I, I wasn't there. I, I want you guys to remember something. I wasn't there in Dubai in it. So, the allegations are the allegations. Just, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Um, I will say, um, obviously, she knows what, ha what, what happened. Sorry. Uh, in her opinion, her man doesn't deserve the smoke. That's her opinion. You know what I'm saying? She wants to protect her boyfriend. The other girl's gonna have a different opinion because she says that he done something inappropriate to her. Up, oh, up. Oh, it's none of my business. Oh, yeah, but allegations are too serious for me to be involved. Me, I don't want no part. So, me, I don't want no part. 
see the difference there? I don't want no parts. You see what I did there, babes? You see what I did there? I wasn't there. You see what I did there, babes? I wasn't there, babes, so I don't want any parts. You see what I'm saying? I didn't beat my chest and say, I, I bet she didn't. No, I didn't. I wasn't, I bet she didn't. I didn't say that, babes. I said I don't want no parts because I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it was me, when it was me, apparently iCloud couldn't be used to, mess to, 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 to send messages and that, yeah? My trauma was fake, yeah? When it was me. But when it was me! Okay. In the name calling that he's getting, he doesn't deserve that because he really be minding his own fucking business. I can't even lie. I just, I gotta be real with it. Like, he really be... You know what? I don't know what to say, but I just, I, I can just, I, all I... I, I, I feel where she's coming from. Because in the sense that she loves her man so much and she just doesn't want him to be in pain, in it. But pff, boy, it is what it is. We're hearing it. I think this video, the fundamental, correct me if I'm wrong, fundamental message in this video is to. Um, she, she's, I think she's sick of people um, probably attacking her boyfriend. She loves him. He's a king to her. So I think the fundamental message here is, can we all back the F up and stop talking smack about him? Yeah? Can you not back the F up? Back the F up. Stop, stop talking about her man. Stop talking about her man. Do you even have a man? Do you even have a man? That is the question. Back the F up. Oh, I think that's the the main message here the main fundamental message which is quite cute it's quite cute the third one is the biggest allegations of it all yeah this definitely is something you don't play with yep this is something that can ruin somebody mm -hmm, completely. girl mm. nobody wants to be trolled for that but you know when you say like this is something that can ruin people completely i hear what you're saying sis but you kind of tried a little bit small, small to ruin my life completely, didn't you? But I don't know, we'll continue, sis. But I agree. They get all serious allegations. And I wouldn't want that on my worst enemy. Oh, can you see the gap in my hair? I wouldn't want that on my worst enemy. I'm, I'm not even just being sarky. No cap, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Nope. I do think that it's quite like, like raw, isn't it? That it's, it's deep, isn't it? So I agree. Nobody wants to be attacked for that, especially when you're innocent. And it's just got to the point where enough is enough. And I've got to accept the fact that... I'm not okay. I want to say two things. I think I've said it before, before I finish it before. Because this video is long now. It's half an hour. Um, one thing. I do genuinely think she's she's sad. She, I genuinely think she's sad. And she's going through it, innit? I genuinely think that she... It, it's a tough time for her. I believe that she didn't wear makeup and everything because she just wanted to be raw and honest. Exposed. You know what I'm saying? Do I believe the entire video is genuine? This is just my opinion. No one should shoot me. It's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me or not. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm not going to read it because a lot of trolls are going to be telling me about myself. <laughs> if, if you're one of my goodies, write it down below, then DM me, sis. But um, what I will say is the only bit that I... F I, I, I mean, pff, don't shoot the messenger, innit? I'm just letting you know, sis. I believe you're genuinely sad and you're going through it. Genuinely believe that. I genuinely believe you're madly in love. You know, and prayers go to you during this hard time. I don't believe that you were crying. But that's because he wasn't. Do you know what I'm trying to say? However, wait, 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 wait. Before you, before you go mad. Um, I will say this. May, may, okay. If we want to give her the benefit of the doubt, maybe she'd been crying all morning, all afternoon. We, we don't know. If you actually zoom into her eyes, you know, she looks, they, they look a bit, a bit, one sec, let me zoom in. They look a bit fat, I think. A bit swollen, do they? One sec. Let me screenshot and then zoom in because it's not working. If I screenshot and zoom into the picture, yeah, yeah, a, li a little bit. They look a bit sad. She looks like she's, she, okay, whatever. She's got sad, genuine eyes. I don't believe though the, that crying at that moment was real, but she probably had cried, like I said, the night before, the day before. Um, a lot of people can't cry and cue in it. Um, the thing with me is I'm a very emotional person. 
So when I'm talking about something that makes me sad, especially when I'm living it through it, yeah, I can cry. Definitely. 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 Gosh, I'm so glad I did my story times when I did, because if I did them now, I wouldn't cry, you know, because I'm pretty over it. But let's continue with the video. Being a puppy figure, I've got to take more cautions. I've got to be more careful with a lot of things. I've got to be careful okay. with who I keep around me. But I didn't protect the person that I loved because I allowed anybody and anyone to be around him. People that I thought had best interest with me. He doesn't even know the girl. He's never met the girl. I do wonder why she says that she thinks she thought the girl had best interest in her. Um, um, this is just like a side shit. Okay. Can you see me? Okay. Can you see me? Okay. I wonder. It's just like a side note. I just wonder why she thinks the girl had. Like, I, I wonder how she judges people's characters. Because I feel like she judged my character quite wrongly. Like, I think I'm a nice person. I'm not perfect, obviously, but I think I'm a nice person. So, I wonder. Hmm. Anyway, like I said, the whole, that situation, it's, it's not my business. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. I just pray for everybody. I, I, my prayer, I sent all my prayers to you guys. Everyone involved. I just hope the best resolution for every person involved in the situation is handled rightly and everybody is okay and justice is brought to the person that was wronged so wh whoever t whoever it is and i'm um, just praying for all of you god loves all of you so yeah just guys keep praying and if you guys if you know and just do what's right that's all i can say sorry do what's right and keep praying met her was when she was in my hotel room it's so sad Okay, I'm gonna zoom past a bit. Who's the advert? He has to do it. His girlfriend consistently gets dragged through the mud, and when people come for me, they come for him. Me and Blacks are no longer in a relationship. It's it's the most difficult time right now for myself and I'm taking time off to heal. I'm taking time Good. off to work on myself mm. and to physically and mentally be where I need to be. Mm. I'm also taking time off to deal with these serious allegations. If anybody deserves to be trolled, it's me. Mm. Because... I didn't handle the situation, didn't pet my boyfriend, I didn't deal with it how it was meant to be dealt with. He where? Oh, it's the crime bit. I don't even want this clout. I don't even want to be paid. I don't even want... Okay, done. I've like, um, cool. So, let me summarize the video all in all. I genuinely believe the girl's going through it. I believe she's upset. Um, so prayers to her. Um, like I said, I don't wish bad on people. So, you know, I don't want no one to be depressed. So press you. You know, you're, you're going through heartbreak. Heartbreak is shit. You know, people can't eat and sleep and all that shit when they're heartbroken. So, um, prayers to you. I yes, yeah, so I believe that she loves her boyfriend. I believe that she this 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 is like a whole romantic gesture, begging you lot to 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 back the effort and stop commenting. I believe that um um she's hurting, but I also believe she needs to reflect on the fact that the way she's feeling now, um, the way she's feeling this girl's being unfair to her, even though it's an extreme situation, I do think she needs to reflect and think, have I ever done that to other people? Do you, not, do you understand? Because I, I, do, I, you know, Ruth has taken, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not saying people don't argue. Humans, humans are going to naturally argue. Humans are going to butt heads. People, humans are going to have misunderstandings. But um, sometimes when you have a misunderstanding with someone, does that mean like it's like, it's, it's, it's like you need to, if somebody hurts your feelings or does something that you don't like, 
do we go from you've disrespect okay you've hurt my feelings or i feel like you've been disrespectful like why can't you say to the person i don't like what you've done why the f have you done that you're you, i actually think that it's so out of order and you're lame for that i don't think it needs to be when i see you i'm a punch in your face like, I, I just think mm, it should be extreme you know and um uh, and then wish the person that they don't have the things that they have in their life I just think it's a bit extreme and then call their trauma lies I think that's a bit extreme and I think that's a bit out of order I've never once called you a liar I don't think that your trauma is lies I'm not laughing at your pain I just think that think about how other people feel and how you put, make other people feel in it I just want the world all in all to be a better place I want us to go forward as influencers especially us ratchet influencers who come on here and spill all the tea on our relationships and and, and trauma and all this kind of stuff and we're kind of like a reality tv show in theory i want us to um stand together as women more like i, I just i don't know like men come and go but like you know what i mean like women women and womanhood it just needs to be something just fundamentally stronger i, I just don't think it's necessary for it to be so evil i watch real housewives so like i'm a fan of of of, of beef and i love a bit of like what's the what's the word i love a bit of like rude banter and shade but like i do think sometimes like we don't need to cross the line if you know what i'm trying to say there is there is sometimes where things are too serious like the fact that you're going you're dealing with something that potentially could take you to court like that's like raw like that's that's so unfortunate um and um it's just it's just not nice this and it's unnecessary do you understand when she said that she doesn't even want the clout and stuff anymore i kind of understood where she was coming from because you know when you're somebody who does have something that people want maybe clout um and fame and stuff it's very very possible that um the pe people might be around you for the wrong reasons and people could do stuff to, to just to hurt you for who you are but then it's also possible that maybe you know uh, there's so many different things it's also possible that you've done something wrong who, who knows that I, I, like i said i wasn't there i'm just giving all the different scenarios and um I just hope that the situation doesn't have a detrimental effect on anyone and like I said the 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 best resolution is comes forward from it and um yeah anyway you're all in my prayers you're all in my prayers for now unless like you know you want to you know star on me again one day but for now you're all in my presence especially where this is so serious this isn't really like something i can just shade you on and have a bit of bands this is quite sad do you understand um re really really sad and um i don't want you to feel like I, I hope you don't feel alone and feel like oh you know i hope it's not so bad that you feel like because you guys know that when you troll people on the internet, like, sometimes it... Or when you're so mean to people on the internet, sometimes it goes so far that the person might just want to fucking end their life. Like, people kill themselves because of social media trolls. People do. That's facts. So, we don't want that f for her. We don't. Like, let's just be honest. So, we just hope that... what That's what I'm saying. The best outcome for her can happen in this. And also for the other girl. And for the boy. And um, even if something negative happens from the court case... Um, something eventually positive happens anyway i'm just rambling on i don't know what i'm saying i'm just trying to be positive I'm trying to be positive and have a kumbaya moment i'm gonna i'm gonna end this by singing a kumbaya song let me even go on on youtube i think if i sing a kumbaya song you guys will get get my drift get my drift kumbaya my lord <laughs> hey let's sing together this is what life is about Okay. Mm. Ah, kumbaya. Oh my god, I wish I knew the words. Should I say kumbaya words? Kumbaya, my lord. Lyrics. Kumbaya, my lord. Lyrics. <gasps> They've come up. Okay. Mm. This is for every party involved in the matter. I'm singing this for you guys. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Oh, 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 oh. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, lord, kumbaya.
yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, oh, hey, come on, one more. Someone singing, my lord, someone singing, kumbaya, kumbaya. Someone singing, my lord, singing, kumbaya, kumbaya. Someone singing, my lord. Come on, let's hold hands. Hold hands with me to the screen. Kumbaya, come on, come on. Oh, oh, hey, 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 kumbaya. One more time. Someone's crying, my lord. Kumbaya. Someone's crying, my lord. My lord. Kumbaya. Someone is crying, my lord. Crying, my lord. Crying, crying. Kumbaya. Oh, lord. Kumbaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, bitch. Oh, so I shouldn't have sworn after that. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my positive, positive video. Love, peace, prosperity. Bye, bye, bitches, bye, hoes. Until the next video. Mm. Smash or pass. Now I'm coming and I'm back with bars. Motherfucker, I'm a done your dance. I'm sitting on a wall. I'm sitting on a shh. I'm sitting on a, uh, I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information.